Hi, I'm Mike Oda with Customer Service here at Jasper Engines and Transmissions. I'm going to show you how to use this RTD device to read and write the Jasper calibration into your vehicle. I'm here in this 2014 Chevy Silverado. We're going to show you how to use your phone to modify the calibration in the ECU so your non-AFM engine functions properly in the vehicle. Without modifying the ECM, you'll have a check engine light and you'll have some drivability concerns. It may have some misfires, it may sputter, it may hesitate on takeoff, but we're going to take care of all of that. First thing we need to do is go to either the Google Play Store or your Apple App Store and download the TDN app from HP Tuner and install that. Once you have the TDN app installed, open it up and go to account and register a new account. Yeah. Once you get to the app where it asks for an invite code, on the box that came with your RTD device, there's going to be an invite code. You need to make sure that you use this invite code and enter it there. That links you to us as your tuner. The invite code right here, I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. Now that the invite code's in, we're all set up, we're ready to move on to the next step and begin programming the vehicle. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up this RTD device. It is Jasper branded. It is HP tuners. It's going to work with the TDN application flawlessly. It comes with your engine uh, free of charge as part of the kit. Now we're going to plug the RTD device into the OBD2 port of the vehicle. Now with the device plugged into the OBD2 port, we're going to go ahead and get the device connected Turn the key on, go into the tools menu, and go to RTD plus first time setup. Follow the on-screen prompts. Once the light on the device is solid green, press and hold the button until the BT light starts flashing. Once you have accepted any pairing request prompts on your phone, tap activate to complete your device's setup. This process will take around 30 seconds to complete, at which point your device will be properly paired and ready for use. Click Finish to complete the setup. You're then connected to it, to the RTD device, and you're ready to go ahead and read the vehicle. On the app, you'll see a little OBD2 port with a lightning bolt going through it. You'll select that and hit read vehicle. While it's reading the vehicle, sometimes this can take a little bit of time. Make sure to keep the TDN app open on your phone. Don't close it out. And don't be alarmed if it takes, you know, about 10 minutes or so. There we go, save and tune file. We just wrapped up reading the engine controller. We're now, it's now moved on to the transmission controller because the device reads the entire vehicle. Again, don't be alarmed if it takes up to about 10 minutes to read everything. So now we've read the engine and the transmission. It's going to upload it to the TDN server and once that's done, we're going to get a green check mark. And then we just need to sync files and you should get an auto-generated calibration back for that vehicle. Now that you've synced files, you're going to see your restore file, which is your original read file, in case you ever have to go back to factory settings for any reason. And then you're going to see a modified uh, AFM calibration file come up as well. All you need to do is select that and write the vehicle. This calibration that we're loading into the truck now is a calibration that was developed here at Jasper Engines to work hand in hand with your uh, non-AFM Jasper engine. We want to ensure that you have as smooth of a customer experience as possible. What I really like about this RTD is that it provides a really smooth user interface and a, a, a very good experience. And when you're done with it, you can put it in your glove box and use it and keep it as a diagnostic tool for the future. We finished uh, uploading the modified tune to the vehicle. We're going to hit OK here to finish. There you go. In a short amount of time, we were able to use the RTD device and the TDN app to finish the install of your Jasper engine.
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found us informative. Please follow HP Tuner so you don't miss any of our upcoming content.